Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonor Rai from Gladys Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you about components in Revit. So components can be found in annotate tab and if you go to annotate tab, you can find this term component. So if you click this arrow here and you can see there are two terms here detail component and repeating detail component so uh, we will understand both of these terms detail component and repeating detail component so it will bring your cursor here and you can see detail component it adds a view a specific detail component to a view and repeating detail component is repeat, repeats a detail component along a path so we'll understand both of these terms in depth so if we i'm going to definition of this detail components uh, you will understand what is this so if you see uh, this image here this is a component so, so it's in a detail component and there is insulation and some nut and bolts are there and foundation work is there so if you see this uh, definition here use detail components to enhance model geometry providing construction details or other information detail components are revit families that can be placed in drafting views or detail views to add information to the model they offer a faster method of detailing than drawing individual detail lines annotate tab detail panel component drop down so annotate tab detail drop down repeating detail so we have seen these two terms here detail component and repeating detail components in our drop down arrow so it's telling about this so if you want to add any detail to your view a specific section suppose if you are drawing section of any foundation or building you can add a view a specific detail components you can get it from your revit libraries or you can make your own by using tools in revit architecture so if you go to uh, about detail components so detail components are line based 2d elements that you can add to detail views or drafting views they are visible only in those views so if you are working in your uh, sectional views these views will be only visible in sectional views so whatever tools you are using for creating this uh, sectional detail it will be available in that particular view suppose it's a section one it so it will be visible in section one only it will be not visible in 3d or floor plan view so you have to be very cautious in drawing this so uh, generally we used to uh, draw sectional details so it is very handy to know all this so insert a detail component use the detail component tool to place a detail component in a detail view or drafting view a detail component is visible in that view only so whatever views we are drawing that uh, detail will be visible in that view only Create a detail component family. If the Revit library does not provide a desired detail component, you can create a detail component family to meet your needs. So if uh, any uh, term or any sectional detail that is not available in Revit library, we can create our own family and we can insert that particular detail component in our project. So next is create a 2D line based detail component family. Revit allows you to create a 2D detail component based on a line. By selecting the start and end of the line, you can place the detail. So, these are all terms we need to understand and I will show you what is a repeating detail. So, use the repeating detail component tool to create and place multiple elements instances in a model insert a repeating detail with the repeating detail tool you sketch a path defined by two points the path is then filled in with the pattern of detail components so whatever detail components you, you are uh, inserting suppose you are inserting a brick section and you want to uh, create a sectional detail of a wall and if you want to create a repeating the same uh, brick suppose it's a uh, 8 by 8 inches clay brick so if you want to repeat you can use this repeating detail otherwise you have to repeat one by one so now we will understand this in our revit project so this is the term which we understand uh, we, we have just now understood so this is detail component and this is repeating detail component so suppose i am going to uh, show you one example 
so i am going to again my ppt here and i am going to so about bond beam suppose i want to draw a bond beam so bond beams are the spaces provided in the bond beam block which is used for placing cement grout and reinforcement so this is a bond beam which we have is placed about in this u section bricks hollow bricks u shape the space is used for placing horizontal reinforcement so uh, these two in reinforcement uh, reinforcement bars are placed in this u shape block here and uh, to prevent grout from flowing down through holes in the web a wire mesh is placed just under the bond beams without disturbing the vertical corner so it is a wire mesh detail is provided here so if you want to draw this kind of details so you are required to load your family and i am going to uh, my section one and i have loaded this one this is the u shape bond beam and this is the hollow bricks section here so these all are sectional detail if you i am clicking this you can see this is bond beam single section 8 inch by 8 inch by 16 inches this is cmu core section 8 inch by 8 inch by 8 inch so now if you want to insert a uh, detailed reinforcement bars there are two bars here which i have just shown you in this image these two bars reinforcement bar and this wire mesh in your detail component so how we do this so uh, i am going to first uh, insert these two bars here so i am going to annotate tab and i am going to select this detail component and after this you will go to load family and in the load family i will tell you i am using imperial unit so i will go to english imperial and after going to english imperial you can see this term detail items you will select this and now i am going to this concrete section here and i am going to reinforcement is still here and now you can see this term here reinforcement bar section dot rfa so i am going to open this and now i am going to place these two bars here this is to just represent this sectional detail we can add section like this going to our revit uh, libraries or if not it's not available in revit libraries you have to create your own so suppose this wire mesh is not available in library this kind of just is just a representation of a line this wire mesh so i am going to draw this wire mesh by using my detail line here so whatever it, uh, the items which are not available in revit libraries we can draw this so i am going to just draw a rectangle here just to represent a wire mesh here this is the method of adding components so uh, you can see this is a tile uh, repeating uh, detail brick so this is a brick which we have add brick section here so suppose if you want to add a tile detail here so you can go to this repeating detail component and you can select this repeating detail brick so i am going to edit type and now i am going to select this tile section vertical 6 by 6 so these all i have downloaded uh, inserted from revit libraries so if you'll go to i'm going to first show you how we can insert so you have to follow the same process here i'm going to architecture annotate and i'm going to select this detail component and i'm going to load family and i'll go to release imperial and then i will go to detail items here and now i will go to finishes here and i will select this tiling and you can select this tile section here and i'm going to open this so after this i'm going to component repeating detail component and i'm going to edit type and now we can select this tile vertical whatever the size if you want so suppose i want this tile section vertical 4 by 4 by 3 by 8 so i'm going to apply okay and now if you want to repeat this you can start from here or i'm going to delete this and i'm going to select this repeating component 
and I'm going to edit type and now you have to define a spacing so I'm spacing is 8 inch so I'm going to define 4 inch here spacing and now you have to find a 2 space point so I'm going to start from this point till this point so you can see this tile detail section is added here so this is a uh, reinforcement you save blocks with bars and this is the tile detail so likewise you can so in this particular view so what you stood in our ppt you can uh, draft in your detail component view so likewise you can draw whatever uh, details if you want to show in revit so you can show this kind of detail by using detail component and repeated component so if you want to repeat this brick you can simply uh, use this tool repeating detail component so this is the method of drawing detail component so if you practice you will become master of this so this was the tutorial for the today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in revit so thanks for watching bye bye